Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to part two of our kind of office tour series, mini office tour series. So this is a tour of the Northern Studios. I gave a tour at my London office and um, there was lots of you who were keen to see a tour of this one as well. And it's really fun to come here because we did do a studio tour. Um, oh gosh, I can't even think when it was now. For here. Uh, I'll put a link in as well so you can come kind of compare as we're going through it because there have been so many changes. A lot is similar but a lot has changed as well. So this is the location that we pack all the orders from, make all the stickers, make all of the stationery and notebooks and all of that good stuff. So let's get into it. This whole room, this is the spare room and used to be my bedroom when I was growing up and we've now converted it into like the studio packing space so it's very functional it's not like we haven't decorated it to be like on brand or anything like that because it's not one of those like perfect pretty places that you see on Instagram with a perfect aesthetic but it works and we've also again had to kind of make quite an odd sh size shape what odd shaped room work uh, just like in the London office we've kind of got this L shape thing going on here so we've glued quite a lot of desks together and stuff like that and had some stuff made um but yeah so let me give you the grand tour starting up here this is where we keep all of our stickers um in these two boxes we've actually just been totally redoing and reorganizing how we store all of these and coming up with new stock keeping unit codes or SKU codes um, and new sections so we're in the process of kind of updating all of the tabs uh, we've got lovely like printed out nice and clean um, tabs for everything now so we can see exactly what is in there we have probably about 150 designs at this point I think um, it's probably a good amount it's probably a good guess and that is expanding all the time we have we do actually make pretty much everything to order so we don't have a lot of like sticker stock um, to hand so it sounds kind of crazy that literally 90% of our business is in these two boxes but as I say we make a lot of it to order so we don't like to kind of hold on to things because it's kind of it's like wasteful if you make tons of something and then you don't really sell it down here we've got these are uh, where we store our seconds again we're gonna have a new system for storing these um but yeah we've got seconds in these boxes over here just like tapes and things that we use to clean the stickers up we also have this this is if you are a sticker shop owner, this is really useful. Basically, the silhouettes get quite quite dusty and uh, this is really good for just like blowing out the dust. Really, really handy. Over here, this is kind of like a packing station. So I think this is probably quite similar to what we had last time. But glassine bags, cellos, all that bits and pieces that we need. Things for Royal Mail bags here. Things like our like tapes, packing tapes, fragile tapes, all that sort of stuff. Then more packing envelopes there and underneath here is where we kind of have all of our different packing boxes that are all like flat pack. Up here we've got our prints. Again we do pretty much all of our prints to order now. We did used to make a bunch um, but now we just get them basically made to order. So yeah we try not to hold too much stock of anything because I think it's just like a better position to be in. This whole bench was actually built by my dad, Mr. Yates, uh, our chief technical officer. Uh, so he's very, very clever and he's an engineer and so he built this for us. It's a, a, li um, a higher height so that, um, than a normal desk so that you wouldn't necessarily use as a normal desk but it's really good for packing orders because you're not like leaning over and um, straining your back or anything. And he also built this a uh, little shelf that um, sits on top as well. We got this just covered, we just bought some uh, vinyl which you can get from places like Wilco, uh, B&M's, that kind of, uh, those sorts of places and it's really handy just to cover it up, has a nice like, clean finish, um, much better than kind of painting or anything like that. Up here we have mini, so you might remember from the last tour we had a mini and you might remember if you watched the original studio tour from ages ago, behind this we actually used to have a mattress uh, because this wasn't here. We used to use a wallpaper paste table which was not ideal, it was super super rickety, uh, wobbly, so the reason why we got this, but yeah we used to have the mattress behind here because we weren't intending on being <laughs> being here quite this long uh maybe that was just like wishful thinking on my mum's part like ah oh, this isn't gonna last forever but there we are still here anyway here 
various bits and bobs of like cute pen pot, little stand for phones for filming and things. This is a new addition, it's very satisfying. So this is where we uh, keep all of the different foil colours that we now have. So we'll always keep um, off cuts and spare bits so that we can use those. So we keep those in these boxes here and they're all like labelled, it's just like nice to look at. And we also have this very important folder here which has all of our various different print settings for different designs because a lot of them have different print settings. We have to adjust the print of uh, things to get the colours to come out how we want them to. These little boxes are a new addition so usually when um, my mum Lynn is packing orders she will put the different stickers which need foil in the different colours in those boxes and like line them all up so she knows what she's doing. All of our kind of different sized other size cellos is in here so it's just like really easy to grab them. Um, this I think was just like it's just like a letter sorter from, from Amazon. Here we've got our two printers, our two main printers, aren't they gorgeous? So we use the Epson Eco Tank and we've got a HP laser printer for all of our foiled stickers. Yeah, I would, I'd say I'd recommend either of these. So I'll, if you guys want to take a screen grab of any of them, go for it. Up here we have a little selection of all of our prints. So some of these are prints you get in the sticker subscription. So this was... April, the first one that we ever did. Oh, we don't have May up here. Oh, that's annoying. We don't have May. We have June, July, August, and September. So yeah, from remember most of them. And then, you know, in here, things like blue tack, things you just need to like grab. Down here, this is a book binding machine. And then under here, we have various bits of stock. Um, so we have our a foiler here and all of our foils then we've got all of our pins to grab in those bookmarks and down here is like spare books and journals down here we have all of our different uh, journals and journal covers ready for personalizing so we get them in like this and then we foil the design onto them so we haven't got very many of those left at all actually now especially the softback ones uh yeah so we keep all of those down here so we also have in here our bits for making discs so we make the um, personalized acrylic discs as well so all of those are in there we've got our templates for the machine as well down there and various binders with how to's things like that up here on these shelves we have all of our pins which are pre-packaged and all of our paper clips and again up here we've got kind of uh, these which we use for the machine to make sure everything's lined up and we have little cards with the um, lots of things we pretty much remember it off by heart but the times where I actually have to follow something now I'm like oh what is it what is it again where do we line it up to and then here is our foiling machine where we do the books and planners and discs. We like to cover up the bed with just some plastic so it doesn't get dust on it. Yeah, so this is like Lynn's area where uh, her laptop there. This very old laser printer that we basically just use for like printing like orders and stuff like that, like nothing um, any good, but still works. Um, it's just still a little bit clunky. It also looks like really old compared to our lovely other sleek new ones. Over here is our silhouette station. So these desks, by the way, I'd just say these are all just Ikea um, desks that we've kind of just stuck together. This that we have our silhouettes on is something again that Misty Yates made for us. Quite hard to sort of find something which is like sturdy to have have these on and I think we could probably fit another shelf in here as well if we wanted to have a third silhouette but at the moment we've just got the two we actually often don't use two well sometimes we do because we would normally have the my um mac up here as well but because I'm at home at the moment I'm working downstairs to just like be out of the way because it gets very hot in here if there's two of us and it's been very very hot recently <laughs> So yeah, so we have the two silhouettes here. We we usually only probably use one because with the software that we have, we can only use one machine at the time. But yeah, this is working out really nicely. We've got this light up here, which is really useful. I think it's from Screwfix, which is helpful in the evening. 
just to make sure the silhouette's got enough light so that it cuts more accurately. Yeah, and then up here we've got just like a spare blade, our laser, our label printer, which I think is just such a game changer when we got that. Um, definitely recommend like investing in a label printer if you're just sort of setting up. And we've got another board up here with um, some more prints on. We've got our October print there. And then down here we've got our another printer. But we would usually use this to make prints because the quality is just like, it's, it's, it's a very slight difference actually in the colours. And I found that the print settings in the paper matter more than the printer itself. But for some prints I would always use this printer because um, it just does... Just, they just look slightly different and better and I'm really like pernickety about colours. <laughs> Over here we have a guillotine. I would not necessarily recommend this guillotine. Um, just a cheapy one of Amazon. It's very useful to have it. I can never seem to cut anything on it. Maybe that's just me but it tends to leave like marks everywhere as well. Here this set of drawers is where we keep all of our sticker paper, fair card and that kind of thing. All of our mats are in here. These I mean, ideally, we've got another set of drawers here as well. These, I think I used to have craft supplies in when I was little. Oh, when I was like younger, I was really into scrapbooking um, when I was in my teens. And uh, yeah, I think I had these, they were just like full of like sequins and buttons and pens and stuff. But now they have uh, our to-do list pads and sticker paper in. So in a lot of ways, I haven't come very far. We really like to get rid of these actually because just find these plastic sets of drawers are always like, they're just never very sturdy. And as I say, we've had them like so long, they sometimes like come off their runners. So I think the next thing we probably want to get for in here is like some proper draw units which would sit under here. So there we go, that is it, that is the tour. I really hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting and uh, maybe you've taken some inspiration from it if you've got your own um, business as well. I'm really proud actually of how far we've come. Like I was watching the old studio tour from ages ago and um, I think we've come a long way. We've developed a lot in that time. So I'm super, super proud and who knows, what the studio tour might look like in the future like this i think it'll be really nice like look back on as we grow and who knows you might even end up in a new space you might like decorate this one like i don't know what might happen but yeah i think these are like really nice to look back on and as i always say you've got to measure your progress and it's nice to look back and think yeah we've come we've come really far we've come far since that wallpaper paste table and the mattress in the background to having at least a proper packing table and uh things feeling quite organized uh, yeah new printers since last time as well i think so um yeah yeah we've come a long way so i hope you've enjoyed this video um drop a little thumbs up emoji if you made it to the end so i know how many of you made it to the end i'd be love to know who, um love to know who watched it to the end and I will see you all around the internet very soon.